Alrighty, cycle here. Let's play this. Doing. Alrighty, alrighty. That's your cycle. Actually, what you could do is, um, if you can scrub fast here, <laughs> you can see that your middle one actually fits in here, and you can just put it all in one, and then submit that like that. Let me do a cheat here. All right. So I just. Oops. Did I clip it? What did I do? So if I play this, I should just play beep. There you go. It might be a pop. It might just be me. Yeah, it's probably the way it was recorded and me pulling things. So looking at this, there are a couple of things that stand out. For me, it's mostly the feet. There's something where you're slightly overextended on this. I feel like we're, we're almost leaning a bit too far back. Here it gets better. The main thing that I have, when, I was, when I'm watching this, it feels like your foot roll is just not activated enough. Like this feels like a very, very hard shoe where it's like there's a little bit of foot roll in there. I know I'm starting with a detail. Should look at the bigger thing, but there's just something about the clunkiness of the feet. Where you're, it's almost, I know maybe that's part of the rig, but I know, looked at it. I can't remember how the foot roll is if it's not able to do something stronger with the foot roll like this. Might just be that, but check if you can activate that and push that roll just a bit more. And then cycle-wise, careful what you're, what's happening is that you're having contact here on that frame. But then as it plans, it's not going backwards. And that's that's what adds to that extension and being too far forward with the lean back feel. And only now is it moving back. And the same thing on your, on your peel-off here. So as you track your spacing here, suddenly it starts to slow down and stop. So the moment the foot, if it's, you know, especially on the cycle, that you're moving from from A to B, right? The moment you set foot and you contact the ground until whoop, the end when you lift off and you get off the ground, in graphite or whatever curves you have, bam, contact, lift off. You don't want keys in here. You know, it needs to be all one constant, even curve and the timing. Basically, if you move this from A to B, the amount of the root moving forward, the speed is the same as the foot going back. And that's how you will avoid sliding. That's what I would have there. I would probably point those feet out a little bit. They're a bit straight default towards us. It might be a little bit here, but I'm going to push that a bit more. And don't forget on your plant, the shin is aligned this way. So I would align your foot as well to this. And as you step down, you might have, depending how you know she's leaning in, so it might have a little bit of a touch point on this, meaning that you're... Your foot is slightly rolled on one side and then it flattens on contact. Generally though, I feel like the the root is going up and down a bit too much. It's funny because I don't quite see it here, but it might just be maybe it's your oh no, it's your it's your hip. I think you could still reduce the up and down a little bit. Watch out the yeah, the spacing on the feet for that. And you talked about the pops, there's still some moments where none of this is moving and only the lower part here, the shin there is moving. So you have to look out for sticky frames like that. That's a bit tricky. To me, at least personally, I think the hand are a bit too wavy. It makes it a bit soft. But I appreciate that they turn and then fall into an arc so they don't go out and then go back in the same direction. To me, like a bit more successful on the on the side view, just in terms of how far out you go here. But it's not a shock kill. There's just something about it feeling almost a bit too artificial. Like she's really trying to reach out with those hands. I probably toned that down a little bit, just a tad. I feel like the Y rotation is also a bit much. It's not too crazy. I mean, it's just. Personally, I don't. I'm going. I'm looking at this as more like a vanilla walk, meaning it's more like a standard walk. So it could be a reduction a bit in the Y, and fanning this out, and a little bit in the hips, softening the feet a bit more. Like there's a looseness about this that's cool, but then a stiffness about that that's kind of clashing to me. 
There's a bit of a hiccup there. Not a hiccup, a bit of a sharp move forward on the head. And it feels like even it's kind of like a catwalk, model walk, with the head staying focused straight, I would still watch out. It looks, it looks like a world or head align, you know, IK head type of thing. But I, if you have the reason why I'm reacting so much to so much chest control moving in Y is that it doesn't impact the head at all. I would have a little bit of tilt, roll of it this way, with a little bit of movement in Y. Like she's trying to compensate and really trying to look forward. That's the main thing. That's why this stands out to me so much because there's so much rotation in here that does not affect this. So I would do a little bit more being affect this affecting this, but still reducing this section, maybe a little bit there. And watch out. Let me just see where you point. So you're pointing the feet this way, but you got still have to take the pull vector of that knee and point it this way as well. Otherwise, we're starting to get a bit of a broken look visually with things pointing in other directions. That being said, when the hips go up and down, that feels nice. It feels good because you're not doing it right away. It's kind of boom, on the passing as the weight goes up that leg. That's when the hip is fully activated. So looking at the front view, that has a nice feel. It has a good impact. Not too poppy. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's just something about this, especially the head moving in. It feels very translatey and not enough of a rotation, a little bit of a drag. And also a bit of a hard hit as it goes forward. Bam, it just stops. It stays put, so it soften that a bit. So to me, this is a bit of a, a, a mismatch in terms of where things are soft, where things are a bit harder. But the main thing to me is, is uh, just that section there. All right, thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.